Okay, so we've created a bunch of videos about the 24 models that are in the plats with the new firmware 1.2. And the firmware 1.2 introduced the new set of models, which is the orange set. And while that gave it incredible power and inspired me to make these videos in the first place, it also is quite overwhelming. 24 models, different controls for every model, different names for every model. And it's really uh, hard to get back to a sound that you once found, once you found it. And so I started actually first creating a cheat sheet for the controls to understand all the controls of each of the models, the 24 models in the green, red, and orange set. And this is what the cheat sheet looks like. It's got one page that's a summary of all of the models. Then it's got one page for each of the colors. So one page for all of the red, one page for green, one page for orange. So it tells you what each of the controls are. And I literally keep this printed, I mean, while I'm using plats heavily, right by my modular rack. And it, uh, it really helps. But then I realized that it's really hard. I play with plats and dial things and, and find sounds that I really love and it's really hard to get back to them. So I created a bunch of sound recipes. That's what those videos uh, before this one were about. And I've been tracking them in a spreadsheet, which I'm going to share in the description. You'll see the link in the description. And there's over a hundred of them. And it's not really patch descriptions, it's sound design recipes that just talk about the controls of the plats and how to set them to get that sound. Now I can go searching for sounds like wind chimes or uh, dripping water or a soft harp or something like that. And I can uh, redial it in much more quickly instead of hunting and pecking the way I used to use plats, uh, which actually I loved, but now I love it even more that I can get the sounds that I want very quickly. So that's what you're going to see here is just a very quick intro to that spreadsheet, which has over a hundred sounds. It tells you which model to use, what dial settings, and a general description of the sound to get you there a little faster. Uh, so you're hearing one of those sounds now in the background, but through effects, and it is the side chainy string pluck sound. So it's a string pluck on a bass guitar or a guitar. And let me turn the uh, effects off so you can hear a little more easily. And of course, I have some drums in the background that are being run by marble, some randomization, and it's running on the other three plats that I have here. So I have four plats modules. Uh, yes, I've gone a little crazy, but I've got a bass, uh, sorry, a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat running on these plats here, all being controlled by marbles, a little bit of randomness, and a little bit of modulation in the background. So the fourth plats, this one here, is the one that's running that first recipe, uh, or one of the recipes from the list, that is the side chainy string pluck. It's kind of a side chain sound to it. You can hear it kind of dis, you know, go, goes down a little bit on each of the beats as if it's being side chain, but there's no side chain. It's just some of the settings here that's making that happen. So that's one recipe. Let's uh, move on to another recipe and see uh, what that sounds like. We're going to go to something called wind chimes and that wind chimes is on the third model. So we'll switch over to the red third model and we're going to actually take the trigger out. It doesn't need the trigger and I look at the sheet and it says no trigger. It says the frequency can be anywhere in the middle ranges. So we'll play with that. The harmonics will be in the center. Tomber will be around nine o'clock. And then we go clockwise on morph. And I think all the attenuverters will be centered. And let's see when we turn that up what that sounds like. Not there yet, hang on. Let's turn the drums off.
Oh yeah, there we go. I'm gonna take out the other, but you get the idea. That's the wind chimes, and I just used the recipe to dial in the right settings, and then uh, we can get that sound. And that's it. Let's move on to one or two more examples. So now we're going to try another one from the recipes list, the cookbook spreadsheet. And uh, this one's on the green models. It's in the eighth model of green and it is called Oh Yeah. So you get kind of a voice sound. On this one, you want a trigger, but you don't want to get the aux output, just the output. And we're going to do kind of a mid to low frequency. Harmonics is going to be counterclockwise, says the recipe. Tombard is going to be counterclockwise. Morph is going to be at about nine o'clock. And the two attenuverters for Tombard and morph will be in opposite directions. Tombra will be counterclockwise, morph will be clockwise, and we'll keep the FM attenuverter right in the center, and let's see what that sounds like. And I've changed the clock on PAMs. You can't really see that unless I zoom out. Whoa! I've got it way slower now. Well, half the speed of what I had before. And let's listen to that one. It's called Oh Yeah. Oh Yeah. Oh Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, and I don't think you need to see any more or hear any more. <laughs> if you've watched the other videos, you've seen um, how I'm dialing a bunch of those examples as I was discovering them across the red, orange, and green models. And this spreadsheet basically uh, gives you all of those. There's over a hundred, and um, there could be more for sure. And maybe we'll start collecting them collaboratively and uh, get a bunch of recipes into the cookbook so you get the most out of plats so we all can get the most out of plats and dial in sounds much quicker so that's the cookbook of sound recipes for sound design for plats and i hope that's helpful as a companion to the cheat sheet enjoy <laughs>